the name Jesus Christ, every knee bows and every tongue confesses. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we want to say thank you for defending us by your name. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, so if you are here, you have your tithes. I would quickly ask you to come to the altar. Kindly come forward to the altar with your tithes. Deuteronomy 8, 18. But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that giveth thee the power to get wealth, that he may establish his covenant with you and to the generations after you forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. As you are coming before the kings of Cain, the Lord of laws, he says that the silver and gold, they are mine. A thousand cattle upon a hill, they are mine. And if I call for corn, I call for corn that I may bless you. If I call for corn, I call for corn that it will be accounted to your credit. Lift it up and speak to the Lord. You can never outgive God. You have come to the king of kings. I pray this morning that may the king of kings surprise you. May the king of kings pour out a blessings over your life that you cannot contain. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray that the Lord who said, bring it and prove me, that the Lord will prove himself mightily on your behalf. I pray in the name of Jesus that the Lord will stretch forth his mighty hand and strike every form of devourer in the mighty name of Jesus. By this your tithes this morning, I pray the activating of angelic escorts in your going out, in your coming in, in the name of Jesus Christ. By this your tithes this morning, I pray that the Lord strengthen your feet, make your feet like iron and brass to cause you to walk upon your high places in the name of Jesus Christ by your tithes this morning. I pray that the Lord empower the works of your hand. Empower your hand to possess your possessions in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, according to your word, let the goose in faraway country come unto them in the name of Jesus. Come unto them in the name of Jesus. You are blessed and blessed beyond curse. Anyone that lifts his voice against you by reason that you are a covenant child, let that person be rebuked in the name of Jesus Christ. Anyone that blesses you, let that fellow be blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. The choir should get ready. They will minister. Whilst the protocol departments get ready for their ceremony. Amen. 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 Our God is good. And all the time. Amen. He is for us. He is never against us. No matter what, our God is for us. Amen. Amen.
Hallelujah. This we're going to do this song together. We did it last time, so shall we please be on our feet as Papa comes in? His glory, His glory, the glory of the Lord, it's coming now. His glory from the highest heaven, the glory of the Lord is coming now. Let's sing the glory of the glory. Oh, let's sing the 
the Lord is coming upon your life. Can't you see it?
This morning, God is going to give you double for your trouble. Amen. I, I, I see you are going to lose walking and advancing in the normal way. You are rather going to fly. Amen. You fly. Mr. Ready, do something about my sound. You killed me last Friday. Today, too, it has started. My sound is very, very low. I said, just sound like boom, 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 boom. You, you don't hear the sound coming out of the speakers. Mm. Very, very bad. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, with this powerful amplifiers, you should have a very good sound. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. All right, so we want to quickly uh, induct the protocol arm of the church into office to begin work. And so we want to receive their clothes. Choir, we are still going to be singing. So uh, bring me the clothes and then let's pray over it quickly. They'll go and dress. We receive them back to the altar and then pray for them before I start preaching. Are we, are we in agreement? Yes. Yes. <laughs> And I bet you want to now if you want to mass in us and your bomb pie go on tariffs what could see you on one bar and I will invite Pastor Cornelius to come and say a word of prayer over the garments. This garment is going to be their mark of identification. When you see them wearing it, it means they are serving in a certain capacity or office in the church. And so it is not for fun. Just as when we ordain pastors. We pray over their garments and then separate them. The same way these uh, brethren are going to wear this as a costume to exercise their duties in the office as protocol ministers. And so, Pastor Cornelius, pray over it and add that the Spirit of the Lord will separate them as they put these garments on. That any time they wear it, they will not wear it as common men. They will wear it as people that have been consecrated to serve in the house of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Shall we bow down our heads and stretch your hands towards this apparel? Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you for this wonderful location. We thank you for this apparel, this with uniforms. Lord, we are grateful unto you on, for this particular day. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we pray and sanctify and separate this uniform apart. Lord, these uniforms will not just be an ordinary dress. All eyes that will be set upon them will be drawn to Christ in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let the glory of the Lord be manifested as they put on these apparels. Mm. Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, let the Holy Ghost sanctify these dresses. Let it become a uniform separated unto the Lord God Almighty. Anyone that shall wear this will be attracting many others to Christ in the name of Jesus. It will not just be an ordinary cloth, but indeed a separated one for that matter. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, let these dresses be an identification. An identification to draw others to Christ. An identification to separate the wearers to Christ. An identification to identify this ministry, out, this ministry out of the Lord. Lord, we thank you. We give you the glory. And we cover these dresses by the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. Amen. By the blood of Jesus. Amen. We separate it apart. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Wow. So, we will ask you go and then dress up and we receive you in as uh, a bride adorned for the groom. And we usher you in. So, the service is over to you whilst we wait for them. You have just seven minutes. You can sit down and enjoy the ministration of the choir. So you can use me, Lord, to give myself away, give myself away, oh Lord. Give myself away, oh Lord. Can you give myself, give myself away? I give myself to you, use me, oh Lord. Oh, oh. 
In a certain way, they are getting ready to receive mm. a bride and mm. a groom. Mm. So who say nipabi is six year old? Can be sure. Now we six year old. Actually, if we see any if we come, and faith will very soon. Jesus is going to appear to us. Ah, amen. So we are beginning to understand mm. the need for professionalism and excellence. Wow. If you are a pastor in the church, you must dress accordingly. If you are a deacon and elder, you must learn to appear as such. If you are in any capacity in the church, when guests or people, because you see, when revival happens, mm. dignified men and women appears in the midst of mm. the revival. And Kenya is here, and you pack a seer, and you teach you for a basa is your moon. And this is just the beginning of good things to come. We a near market, see any papa in fitting us here. The choir is my first born, and so I'm going to find something that the mm. whole world, no mm. choir is wearing, mm. and mm. put on you. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, you are in an aircraft. Yes. And this aircraft, I'm the captain in ah. charge of this aircraft. Ah. Ah. And I'm about to present to you mm. the air hostesses that are going to hold you and ah. to pamper you and make you feel loved when Amen. you come to church. Are you together? Yes. And so... We want to induct them into their office in just the next three, four minutes. So standing uh, whilst I do this for them and then pray in support of their oaths. Brothers and sisters in Christ, we have gathered here today in the presence of God to publicly recognize these brothers as protocol ministers in the faith where charismatic ministries worldwide. And we believe they have heard the call of God to undertake this office in this church. And they, having successfully gone through the procedures, 
have declared their desire to obey God's call into service and are also requested to give public testimony of their convictions in this regard while we also affirm God's call on them and pledge our support for them. Is it your unshakable conviction that Jesus Christ is the head of the body, the church, and that in everything he must be preeminent? Candidates. That is my unshakable conviction. Can we have, help them with the microphones, please? If the cordless microphones are available, we'll just give it to them. When they finish, you can Amen. take it back. Amen. Also, if we give them your own, when they finish, you take it back. Uh huh. Yeah, bring it, bring it. If you can read it, just move it out. Quick, quick. So I take that one again. Is it your unshakable conviction that Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ is the head of the body, the church, and that in everything he must be preeminent? Candidates. That is my unshakable conviction by his grace. Do you trust that you are inwardly moved by the Holy Spirit to take upon you this work? To serve God for the promotion of his glory, for the preaching of his gospel, and for the edifying of his people? I do so trust. Will you submit yourself to those whom the church shall appoint to have rule over you? I will, the Lord being my helper. Will you diligently... Will you be diligent in prayers, meditation, private devotions, in the reading of the Holy Scriptures, in digesting the Constitution and applying them intelligently, and also in such studies as may help to help to the knowledge of the same? I will. The Lord be my helper. Do you resolve under God to strive always to make yourself a worker that needs not be ashamed? Rightly dividing the word of truth. I so truly resolve. May the almighty God grant his power and grace to serve him faithfully and to remain truthful to him always. Amen. Amen. Now, in the name of the triune God, I receive you as protocol ministers starting your work in faith where charismatic ministries worldwide from this moment. Amen. Amen. Wow. I will ask you to kneel on the altar whilst you receive prayer and the blessing of the church. This is not to be taken for a fanfare in the days of the priests, this work was assigned to the Levites. And if you are not in the tribe of Levi and you have not been consecrated to serve as a minister, you don't do this work in the days of the Bible. Church, I want you to join your hearts with my heart, your spirit to my spirit. Stretch your hands to them and pray and ask that the Holy Spirit will strengthen them, empower them, give them understanding for the work uh, love for one another and enable them to discharge their duties and the work assigned to them as protocol ministers in this ministry. Pray for them. Bompire Emao, a son saying, Yamijuman, Yenin Kaladi, um, Yenin Kituum, we a Yajuma, a canino, Nanka, a soft war, live before an air, and Utitino, Sana Bompire Mount, say, A Juma way and ever so Yamini, na a Honsu Sansono, a Dinshira, any ye dear Eberbrenima. Pray in the name of Jesus. Mahola Sahada Vasekle Tepehea. Roko to Horo Sekete Faha. Te Blonte. Ni Mo Sida Bahada Sekete Labaha. One of the most potent and trusted weapon of the enemy is the weapon of division. Division and offenses. And I pray for you all that the grace of the Lord will embalm you. Jesus that name. the spirit of unity will embalm you. 
Jesus name. The spirit of understanding and love will embalm you. Jesus name. I pray for you today that you are no more ordinary women. Amen. But you've been called to the service of the Lord in his courtyard. Amen. Receive the spirit of consecration and purity. Jesus name. You will walk in purity and the fear of God. Amen. You will de discharge your service with excellence. Amen. And you will satisfy the people of God in this house. Amen. The enemy will never package you wrongly in the eyes of church members. Amen. The enemy will never cause others to be offended in you unnecessarily. In Jesus' name. May the blood of Jesus be your mark. Amen. You have connected to my umbilical cord in this ministry. Jesus' name. And because of that, the same Jesus. anointing and the same grace that flows through me, let it also flow through you. Jesus' name. The same angel and the same spirit of God, the same presence I enjoy that protects and preserves me and all those who are connected to my umbilical cord. Let the same be enjoyed by you today in the name of Jesus. Amen. You're going in it preserved. Jesus. You're name. coming in it preserved. Amen. Your future is guaranteed in this ministry. Amen. May God cause men to favor you. Jesus. And may all you do prosper from today henceforth. Amen. From this day forward, whatever that you are purposed to do to enhance the work of God in this ministry, may the Lord cause it to blossom. Amen. And may he cause it to become fruitful. Jesus' name. You will grow spiritually. Amen. You will grow physically. Amen. You will grow in stature and in favor. Jesus' name. The hand of the Lord is upon you. From this day forward, may you become tools for service in the house of God. May you become tools that will bring transformation and change. Amen. May you become access to this ministry. Amen. I give you wisdom. The wisdom that makes a person function in the office of the Lord. Amen. The wisdom that differentiates a person into excellence. The God, my Lord, may he anoint you as I lay my hands on you. Jesus and name. give you the power Amen. to function as protocol ministers. Jesus. Call to serve in this ministry and to become tools for effective ministry. In all your days, you will never be given to anything which contaminates and pollutes the altar of God. Jesus. I have received you into the altar Amen. and the Lord has acknowledged you. For that which soever is bound on earth is bound in heaven. Jesus. And that which is loose is also loose in heaven. Amen. I have bound you and connected you to this ministry. Jesus. And so has it ordained to be. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Wow. Wow. Shall you be outstanding? God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. You may be seated. You may be seated. I thought you were going to clap better. You were going to celebrate them. Hallelujah. Shall we be seated in the house? Shall we be seated in the house? In case you came in late and you haven't given your tithe, I want you to join me. Myself, I came in late and then we take the tithe. In case you came in late, you haven't given your tithe. I want you to join me. Myself, I came in late and you haven't given your Okay. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for making it possible for us to give a tenth of our income. Our brethren have already been here. We bless all of them together. Amen. I pray that this tithe will open the windows of heaven. Jesus name. May your hand rain forth upon us blessings and graces. Enable us to prosper in that which we do. Mm. I rebuke the spirit of barrenness for your for your name's sake. Jesus. And I pray that by your name we will walk in fruitfulness. We thank you and we honor you. In the name of your son Jesus we pray. Amen. Amen. If you are here and for a while you've been wondering whether 
it is possible for you to give tithe in this church or not. I want to welcome you. Your tithe to God is as significant as your soul to God. If you are here and you want to give tithe to the Lord, but you've been in the church, you are not a tither. Let me see your hand up. Is anybody here like that? You want to give tithe to God, but you don't have a tithe card. Alright, my brother, God bless you. Raise your hand very high. Very, very high. Very high. Okay, those who are having their hands up, can you walk to me to the altar? I am not doing a club. I am running God's church. So I don't teach. I don't teach the opinions of the world. I teach Bible. By now, I expect the uh, finance people to be sharp to bring me tight cars by now. Quick. You see, a lot of false doctrines are being preached in these last days, even by so-called Christians in the church, who for their own selfishness, not wanting to be tightest, have agreed with the world that tight is not good. You see, but I will encourage you, it is, it is one of the covenant bonds you will ever engage the Lord in to assess supernatural blessings. If you are a tighter, apart from the fact that God becomes your provider, you have the you have the grace to leave generational blessings for your children. If you are not a tighter, you can't leave generational blessings for your children. If you, are, if you die, your children will lose everything you left for them Consequently or gradually, everything you left, they will lose it. It's true. And so, if you are in the church and you are not a tither, I want to encourage you this morning. Make it up your mind. I have been teaching tight in the church. This morning is not for tight teaching. But just to encourage you, all right, that if you find yourself in any church anywhere, tomorrow if you are not even in this church, you travel to stay anywhere and then you are in a different church, Make it your covenant obligation to commit to giving of tithes. Okay, so give them uh, a tithe book each. When you put your money inside and then you bring it to the altar, the accounts people will give you a number. Okay, or else after church, just see them, let them give you the number. Record it so that when you put money inside, they will know who is paying the money. Let me pray for you, lift it up. My Heavenly Father, I thank you for this wonderful brethren who have responded to the altar call to be tightest. Tight is not for a man. Tight is unto God. It is written in Hebrews chapter 7 that the little is blessed of the greatest. And here on earth, sinful men receive tight. But there in heaven, it is recorded on their part, on, on their behalf. I pray that Lord... These ones will enjoy the covenant blessings of Titan. Amen. I pray that from today, they will no longer work for what they need to enjoy. Mm. But you will give them more than what they are working and bargaining for. Jesus. Their provision will no longer be from their sweat. Mm. But it will be from the windows of heaven. I pray, mm. will a man rob God? These ones will not be robbers. Because from henceforth, they are not going to be taking what is yours. And so may nobody else take what belongs to them. Amen. I rebuke the devourer for your sake. Amen. I declare your children will enjoy generational blessings. Jesus name. If there is anything called barrenness, I rebuke it over your lives. You will become fruitful. Your womb, your body, the womb of your labor, the womb of your field. Whatever you do, let it become fruitful in the name of Jesus Christ. I release you. Go in this your mind and let this covenant you have contracted with your maker 
take its effect from today. In Jesus' name we pray. And let the church of God say amen. Amen. All right. God bless you. You may take your seat. God bless you. After church, you see the accounts, people. God bless you. The church is in prayer. Father, we thank you for this morning. Bless your word and cause your word to be a blessing. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We are in the month of the anointing. It's already 11 o'clock. I have 30 minutes. We are in the month of the anointing. And today, I want to start by teaching on what I call things that happen when the anointing comes on the believer. The real benefit of receiving an anointing is not in what happens to you when they lay hands on you in the church. Yep. Sometimes when we come here and then pastor mention your name, pastor say something about you and lay hands on you, you may fall down you may pray in tongues, you can prophesy, you can receive healing. A lot of things can happen. But that is really not the actual thing I want to preach this morning. But I'm looking at the other key things which happen to us after we have received the anointing on our lives and we leave the presence of God or the church and we are in our house out there. That is the things I want to talk about. And you may be bringing a C, a bra, and go sra about so which me about sorry, then you mini pana from or the Nesato, so I shall come and answer. Look, chapter four. So, what bit me at four, bit me a cassafo fro, the verse fourteen. A a home fast will be an answer, and you know, I'm pressing me can was some. Nemo bra go sra about so now what fee a safofie and our free name in my coof, you name my beer, a C, a young fast son, and I was an ampersa maker. So, the number one thing I want to talk about is that when anointing comes on you, you have identity. You have an identity. Luke chapter 4, the verse 14. Let's read it together. Ready, go. Uh-huh. And Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit into Galilee, and there went out a fame of him throughout all the region of Judea. You have remained a local champion in Ghana and Accra for far too long. This morning when you leave, you shall be known internationally. Amen. No, Wait. your amen is very weak. Pa. Amen. You are not fasting, so let me hear your loudest amen. Amen. You know, Jesus comes from a small uh, village called Nazareth, and Nazareth is within a region called Galilee. Now, yes, if you crack it, will be a friend in Nazareth. Now, Nazareth is in Nelson. It's like when you come to uh, Accra, this area is called uh, Oyarefa Johnson. Johnson. Special eyes, Ghana flag. Sir. But this area is uh, under Lankwantanai. Mm. Are you getting it? Mm. Within the local government jurisdiction or demarcation, this place is under La Nkwantanan. A, a, a lot of you don't even know La Nkwantanan. La Nkwantanan is Medina Municipality. Mm. Are you getting it? So this is the same thing we are looking at. Galilee was an assembly like La Nkwantanan. And then uh, Nazareth was a small village within the La Nkwantanan uh, uh, Galilee uh, district. That was where Nazareth was found. And Jesus has been living here. The, according to the Bible, he grew here. He lived here. He was nurtured here. He grew up there. And the man was a local uh, reader. So how many of you have gone to Methodist Church and Presbyterian Church before? Oh, okay. When you go to this church, they have what they call local preachers. 
How many of you have heard about local preachers before? Uh -huh. So you are in that church and all you are doing is that you will preach in the church, but you will never be an international preacher. You, you are localized. Mm. Hey, <laughs> And Jesus has been reading the Bible as a local Bible reader in the church. Like the Methodist people have local preachers. Mm. For many weeks, months, and years. And nobody knew that there was even somebody in the local assembly of the synagogue in uh, Galilee mm. or Nazareth called Jesus. Mm. Until when the anointing came on him. Now, yes, I can Kenya, I can Nazareth. Pembebre, a hodi no e chompiata on one that is so Nansuna Obia and Tinica e or Mansini Kesim Kopimse and Gosrano a banaso. And the Bible said that he went in the spirit carried him into the wilderness after his baptism. And he fasted for forty days and nights. Naturally, Yame Wom a banasuna or the co as so a man a chilicom a de duana a Yanian. And when he returned, the Bible said he came or returned from the fasting. In the power of the Holy Spirit, and the fame of Him went throughout the region all about. I see your fame and your business, ah. your work, and what you do about to capture international. Oh, and a Christophone if you are a Christophone if you are Surrounded say a bra was sunny and on a home and a home demo and a buyer. Nanny who a needy a seta a fan potamunina. And that is why in this church we are encouraging all our church members, apart from dressing good mm. and coming to church, mm. apart from working hard at your workplace, apart from trying to use your intelligence and your marketing skill and strategy to run your business and do all the things you do. When you do all that, there must be. A need for you to look for the spiritual component of life, which is called the anointing. And until now, there be a shame crying. Ewa safuimo say ube siye siye ho kama washo atare kama ube ya wajuma kama ube ba ho mo din biya biya se se uye biya odi ni ina besi sina kwamu na uye nsua ema nsuho bibi wawa aye ho mo dia eno aye gosra eno sutuwa na mo. There are satanic anointings and there are. Godly anointings. A lot of business businesses in Ghana these days are running on satanic anointings. People are going to the tender shrine in the Volta region. People are seeing malabouts and calls to receive tokens. Some are made to swallow frogs mm. alive. Mm. Some are swallowing eggs. Mm. Some are swallowing tadpoles. Mm. Others are made to chew fresh liver. Mm. Many people are swallowing things like cowries and coins, mm. money, mm. so that they will have satanic anointings to run their business and their company. And these are the people most of you are competing with out there when you go to uh, your workplace or when you are running your business out there. But I am about to present to you mm. a superior anointing and a superior grace Amen. which will enable you to overrule all the powers of the devil. I don't know why you are here, but in case that is what you came to look for this morning, get ready because the God I said is about to give you something superior. Amen. Ay, it's, ay, 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 ay. It's Are you here to receive? 
a sign to me and call for a penty, a bini a comma lamp for her, a be a consumer and fret for her, a be a coa con for her, yea, my a bimon potro, and my one minute and immono so, a be a minisica, a be a minisidia, a be a mini and muahudua, a bimpo and mini abosma cutter, and in kitchen, and yama bibrin and call for a mini, a sign to me, and I want the awape, a dia wenejuma, nan so, ye when yamibia or my two mini dia, a yer cron cron dia, a yer crozia, that is no a yer and was ra, and no who here said, O Didini, a bemo to my dia. You know, even these days, when those who do arm robbery and sakawa, they don't do it with their bare eyes. Mm. Recently, I was reading uh, an article in, on the net, and the police in Northern Region had been looking for a particular thief for more than 15 years. Mm. And the story has it that sometimes they dispatch very skillful police officers to go after this man. Mm. And when he see the police are coming, he can just run and he will hold the tummy like that and he will turn into a fowl. But the time they say, ground four, ground four, then he pass behind there, you get there, there's nobody there, only a fowl is there and he's uh, eating from the garbage. Yeah. Uh, how many of you heard about this popular guy called Atai? You know, when you are talking about the internet, you are talking about the internet. 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 So, so, some of you are really in competition with a lot of akuko out there, but you think, sir, can I preach? Mm. I have seen businesses, and eh? one day I, pref I, I ministered to somebody, and this guy was operating a shop. And I said, I, I'm seeing a shop. He mm. said, I, I, I operate a shop. Mm. And then the Lord showed me that. Somebody are going to put something there. Mm. And because of that thing, eh, when customers are coming to this guy's shop, mm. there is a monkey that's standing there. Ah. Quill, when it that quill, then the, the, the customer will turn. Mm. So he said, Pastor, for strange reasons, I've seen a lot of people come to the shop, but when they come, they will just come there as if they are looking for somebody. They look into the shop, you know, mm. and then they turn. And the business is running down. Mm. Today, ha. I don't know who is running your business yeah, down, yeah, but yeah, whatever ba, ba, ba. demonic anointing they are using, we will contradict it with the anointing of Jehovah over your life. Amen. May that anointing of Jehovah fall upon somebody here. Me bompa e ma abranti ebi na me hunse o ye juma anase o shop o ye mu juma nanso abranti na juma en koso na ni ami bi e mani ma me hunu ye ni se obi a one ne ebose ye ni pa kron so eton ade ti se di abranti ne ton no akwaji bibi abebe gu abranti ne shop ne ni enu nti empendudu ani pa e ba ho no ade a wo hu ni se obi adane ne ho adwen monkey e na oti ho na o ti mu nti ni pa ne ba o be ba be ni na ho atutu ne ni ahwe aso hwe bibi ase ni bibi ayira nanso on te hwe e nam so abranti ne juma die nyina e kofom so you see, those people have received identity from the enemy mm. by demonic anointings. It is not possible that somebody comes looking for something to buy. They mm. come there, there are about three, four people selling the same thing. Mm. And every one of them will pass by your own and they go to this particular person. Mm. And and you are all, it, it's not, so if it is food, I can say that maybe it's because your own is very tasty. But we are all selling sets. Mm. Eh? Set. The same store. We are all on the lane. Everybody bypass my own and they come to the next race shop. Mm. If you are a spiritual person, you shouldn't sit there and say, uh, 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 What is luck? C can you show? Have you seen Madame Lack before? Mm. So that, that what you call luck is not really luck, but there is a spirit behind it which makes people naturally not find it in their heart to approach you or to approach your business. There are certain ladies here, you naturally you have the flair, you are very beautiful, you talk nice, your vital statistics are speaking for you. Ah. Every man that has feelings will naturally want a lady of your caliber. 
But for strange reasons, you don't know what to do. When men approach you, they don't want to continue with you anymore. And they turn. By the time you know some fianga girl, mm. be, mm. you don't even, they can't mm. even clean their armpit well. Mm. And this is the one that the boy is going out with. Mm. Whatever demonic anointing is fighting you ah. this way, ah. God is about to turn your identity around ah. today. Re receive the power. And no, 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 mm. no. Am I preaching to the church? Yes. Ebedenesi I love this I think I have to stop the preaching and let him continue. That is the point. If in the realm of wickedness, eh, men mm. can use demonic anointing to do that, mm. then I am about to suggest to you this morning, ah. in the realm of light, ah. there is a superior power, a mm. Super mm. You too, you will collect people's customers. Oh. You too, you so, will yeah. collect somebody's boyfriend. Amen. You too, you are about to get something that oh. others are holding ah. in place. Amen. May that anointing fall upon you today. Amen. In the world of over 10 billion people, mm. it takes only an identity mm. for you to be known. Anything you are doing, ladies and gentlemen, you are not the first person to have started it. Do you think I'm the first person to have a church? Are you the first person to have nice body shape? Your, as a matter of fact, your beauty doesn't make other ladies ugly. Huh? You see, you think that the way you dress up nice and you look, no, nobody can take your boyfriend. It's a lie. Oh. If you don't get an anointing to maintain that attraction between you mm. and your husband or boyfriend, mm. some Koliko girl become go. Ha! 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 They can go to see some malam or mm. some, uh, and they give. The, I was up, but so you know, I was, I was. My wife was telling me something. My wife went to Medina Market to buy. He came to a certain shop at Medina, mm. Apatabia Sisa, Sa. and then this old woman, ah, look gone for Mariano. Mm. These pretty, pretty girls go to the woman for concoction. Mm. Some is cream, some is spray, and eh? they put it on their face. Some put. He said, some of them, you insert it. When the man sleep with you, he will never leave you. Sir. Oh, yes. We are there eh? at Koso. See, see, I went to the market with her. I was standing. He said, that, that is the shop over there. He said, I said, let's go. I want to see. He said, I don't have time to go and look at those things. <laughs> eh, you know something? Most of these young, young university graduates, they sleep with your uh, boyfriend. Or they have a handkerchief. for Some of them, the, the thing they call pawns. Sir, we are mm. pawns. Okay, hey. Well, we are not, 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 eh? You see, you stand there and you think that a runnable life. Mm. Actually, that lady is not only wearing a second image of beauty, but mm. she's actually wearing a charm. Mm. Eh? Mm. She can just look at a guy, do this, Sir. and that is it. Sir. We, hey, if you question. are not operating a superior anointing to maintain attraction to your heart man, by the time she wink at your heart man, the man is looking for her. Mm. 
today, me too, I am your spiritual pastor and your ah, man. Ah. I give you anointing. Nobody will take your husband and your boyfriend from you. May you never lose your boyfriend to any foolish girl. Amen. May you never lose what is yours to another person mm. because of a charm and a spell. Receive this anointing and the power. Amen. 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 And who no money, my way, and no comment to me, my ukunu, and our boyfriend at now, and say, and there be a son, and you might be an air cosso, and money be a core and penny for, and I say, a man penny for, a quadi, and runny idea, a be a kaji kaji, a be a pons, a boo or the fun and yassi, or be a disran and him, or be the need yes, run and offer so, or be so crowd here. Where you know, and Yama air cosso, say, or your four yell, now Osia ukunu, and now your bema, now Osia, who be a seni funuma, or any funuma, and now your name can pa, what you are through in some, and go slebu and now a brosua, a bema also, what me you would let that anointing come upon you, let it come upon you. Amen. As nineteen, thirteen to seventeen, as one for a tidum crown. And so you see, the world is a place. Where there is a contest for power. Mm. You see, life is a contest of power. Mm. You are in contest with some enemies out there you don't see. Mm. Can I say that again? Yes. So, on your marriage, you are in contest. In your business, you are in contest. In your finances, you are in contest. Everything you need to make life worthy of enjoying uh, or enjoyment mm. there is a kind of competitor mm. okay and the competitor may either be physical or spiritual mm. and so you cannot only depend on your physical qualities and attributes mm. to win this contest of life you need the supernatural that is the anointing amen and so we read that when the anointing came upon Apostle Paul, it gave him identity that when he meets demons mm. or difficult situations, mm. the situation is able to identify that, no, this guy is not an ordinary person. The demons will salute him and they will give him way to pass. Then certain people who mm. also thought that, well, mm. the way Paul has been doing it, we mm. too, we can try. Sorry. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. Now let's look at the scripture. It said that, and certain of the vagabond Jews' sources took upon them to call over them which had evil spirit, the name of the Lord Jesus, saying, we adjure you by the, G we adjure you by Jesus whom Paul preached. Verse 14. And there were seven sons of one skiba, a Jew, and chief of the priests. So, I'm a papa, you're so So, the fact that your father is a pastor, that mm. will make you a pastor. Sir, papa, you're so for you're so for so my identity may not necessarily be your identity. Sir, and that is why I advise all our covenant sons and daughters here, please, the fact that you are a member of the church doesn't make you receive the anointing on the pastor automatically. So we you must have your own identity. So when you get the demon, you say that where is the God of Prophet Jacob? It is nice, but you see, you must have your own identity. So mm. uh, 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 the way you are clapping, uh, it's not nice. Eh? Where is the God of Prophet Jacob? Sir. And then you, you have learned my song, my tongues small. Kadunimi kadoya, you call it on the demon. Sir. If you are not careful, the seven signs of Skiva syndrome will happen to you. Mm, you means? must have your own identity. Mm. Are you getting it? Yes. As you see, we call the name, and then the evil spirit answered and said, Jesus, I know, mm. and Paul, I know, but who are you? Hey, yes, you mean the Paul, meaning I won't wait your wine. Ask somebody, who are you? So, we say, wait your wine. Ask another person, who are you? Beside your tone, saying, Oh, yeah, why? You must know who you are to fight certain demons and to fight certain competitors. As so who would send the Pabaya away and son of what in the Pacobi and I will be a sea kind. So, although I know I am anointed small, there are some demons when I see them in my ministry, I don't approach them because I know that 
the, the, the realm I'm standing, I, it has not been given to me to uh, deal with this kind of things. Know your level, know who you are. Mm. Oh, oh, uh, so uh, so uh, so are so you I getting it? Any to me, you have one. Men for my comes, me say, men pepper so on and ruin so. Eh? I, I have two anointed uh, prophets I'm connected to, well, but so I will not say because they have the grace and they do everything. Then everything I see them do, me too, I will do. Hey! You are so far, can see a deep war. Many want it to be seen. Now, some make us say, Nye ma, me yen, oye no. yeno. Many want to miss me, koye bi. And that's why some of you, your life is in trouble. That thing where papa do, that is what you do. Hey. Me, why you are not papa? Sir, tina yen su bebre yewo house. And say, Nye ma, a janum ni nama yeno. Enu bi ni yen su ye ye. And the Bible said, and the evil spirit answered, eh? Okay, 16. See the verse 16. Very interesting. And the man in whom the evil spirit was leaped on them ha. and overcame them and prevailed against them so mm. that they fled out of the house naked ha. and wounded. Hey! To say one so a bro one nipan son walk on and one in attitude or paper. So what was making Paul and Jesus having the ability to cast these devils out, which also was attested to by the seven sons of Sceva, mm. was not actually because they had anybody they were emulating but it was because the anointing had given Paul and Jesus an identity that when demons see them they know that uh -uh, these people are not ordinary people which we can toil with and then they free mm. today you too the same anointing that made the demons confess ah. that Paul we know Jesus we know may they know you too you too Man. Oh, oh, oh. I said, may they know you too. They will know you. Demons will know you in your business. Amen. When people want to destroy businesses, they see your own. They say, no, after this business, it belongs to that lady. He go to church a faith where? That, ah. No, no, you are not ready. Let me talk to those on this other side. Mm. They come to attack somebody's husband. Mm. They see your husband and say, no, this lady is a prayer warrior. Hey. We know this lady. Amen. You are not ready. Can I come to those at the middle? Ah. You will have an identity from today. Demons will know you. Witches will know you. Amen. Shrines will know you. Amen. Any principality that dares you. May your identity in the spirit bring them to order. Ah. They will comply with order. Amen. They will comply with your identity. Amen. Receive grace. Amen. Receive power. Amen. Receive deliverance. Amen. May your identity speak for you from today. Yeah. Wherever you go, let your identity speak. Ah. May I give you something in the church. Ah. And may that something speak for you this morning. Amen. Give the Lord a shout of praise. Give the Lord a shout of praise. Amen. Amen. Paul, any Jesus, it's me, Zina. Na skiba Emma edi huwa dance ya sewa dance on Emma awono su di huwa dance ya Enk se sewa yini pebi ya keke E yengo sra eni ya tomo Eni tu miya nyame di mao Eno ena yewo ha ena awon su onsa beka Na wa dance on Ewa unfe fu yinye So every child of God ma have an identity Tinyame bebi ya se wunya sa Bibi ya mao dedi Tell somebody half identity Kachiro bi se nya identity E se se wu bra wu bo Wu ni ye Eni and near ma would do who are domino and mount and will slay a bema identity. Amen. You see, that is why I don't want to live my life just like everybody. Tell me, Pesame Bombi Brasso be a kick. Oh, you see, it's good to want to become like someone. Yes, so be a so be. Eh? For instance, our spiritual fathers, I want to become like them. Every day I pray, I become like them. I'm practicing some of the things they do. You see, if you want to have the identity somebody has, you must practice the character behind the identity. So, person, you are not going to be a drama. You are not going to be a drama. You are not going to be a drama. What makes me a jacko is not the color of my suit. It is not the suit I wear. You can wear the same thing and not be able to do what I'm doing. My real identity is my prayer and fastful life. There are certain things I do behind the pulpit which you don't see. And I am a man who is 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 a man Certain things I practice in my house. When nobody is watching, eh, and I am alone, mm. 
There are things I do. You don't see that one. But you want to become the ones you see. No, look for the ones you don't see and practice it. When you practice it, you will capture that identity. May that identity be rubbed upon you today in the church. Ebra will be anyone I come in Kwano, me one year may be a mere, and not so perso yet to send me a man yet the amid and a demo be a monemo at Sakwanema a hinta unimuno. And the Bible said this was known to all the Jews and Greeks also dwelling at the Ephesus. After mm. today, the identity God is about to give you, ha. it shall be known not only in Ghana, ah. it, it will be known in West Africa, in yeah. Africa, your business will. Uh, Man. Are you getting it? Yes. It is a business been a way. I will young or say, I'm a business, you know. I yet established and known, mm. not only in Kokuro Bite, eh? Kokompe Johnson, Malam. Mm. The business must travel to Ivory Coast. So, you go to Kumase Takura Day. You, you, you go. Amen. Those who are clapping, let the anointing fall upon you. Amen. Eh? So you need identity to be unique. And Two. You need identity to work in the supernatural. Oh, yes, sir. Identity and as some pen pensu in all the home. You need identity to work in the supernatural. Oh, yes, sir. And snow day to be a snow queen and what me and until home. Number three, anointment provokes announcement. And go slano a Kenyan be be a yadia to ya and I be a yasse, sir. Oh, my name are you with me? Hello? Are you with me? Let's look at Acts chapter 4, verse 31. If you become anointed, the anointing will announce you. You cannot be anointed and be hidden. You cannot be anointed and become a local champion. Local champion. Some of you have become local champions. Eh? Eric, you can become a local champion if you receive anointing. You only sing in the four quarters of here. Yeah, you, you, yeah. People must know you. Uh, you see the Nigerian musicians? Eh? Mm. The, the, the song you were singing, uh, the guy is called Uche. Eh? Uh, uh, Nathaniel Obasi. Obasi. Eh? radio stations. Because they, 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 they neglect the spiritual component, which is called the anointing. Mm. You have the vocals, One you have the manners, you have the lyrics, you have all that it takes to uh, pro, uh, compose a song, but that is not enough. After you get all those things, prayer, fasting, purity, holiness, craving for spirituality, markers you. Mm. You see that sometimes you see a very ugly looking girl mm. and a very handsome boy is following her like uh, Sir. you see when a pointy bema is looking for that pointy bar. Mm. I don't like the way you are looking Sir. at me. Can, can I preach a little? <laughs> eh? it, 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 it's like there is something that is pushing the appointee bema to follow the appointee bar. Sir, be and you don't know what it is. And if you look at some of the ladies and the guys that are crazy for them, mm -hmm. eh? you, you don't know what it is. You know Hey, ladies are interesting, but so any. Oh, be putting it to sir, not the attraction. No, I just say, near chat, correct, not the two Facebook. If
if me, if you send me a friend request on Facebook, that till the Facebook, not bad book. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. And you now you believe yourself that you got it. <laughs> but but <laughs> it is simply not working in your favor. Mm. Mm. You you are not being announced. You have it, but because you are not anointed, mm. eh, men can be around you, but they don't see you. Mm. I pray by the grace of God upon my life. Any beauty in you that is hidden today by the anointing, let the beauty speak. Amen. Let the beauty speak. Amen. Your beauty will speak. Amen. It will not sleep forever. Amen. Your business will speak. Amen. It will not sleep forever. Amen. Your talent will speak. Amen. It will not sleep forever. Receive the anointing for it. Amen. May you be announced. Amen. May you be announced. Amen. Oh, 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 oh. Receive oh. the power. Receive the anointing and the grace here. Amen. Eh? So it, it, you see, and when they have prayed, the place was shaking where they were assembled together. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. The anointing came on them. And they spread the word of God with boldness. Mm. Eh? Wrote the thing. And the multitude of them that believe were of heart and of one soul. Neither said any of them that of, of the things which, possess, which he possessed was his own. But they had all things in common. Uh -huh. And with great power gave the apostle witness of the resurrection of the, uh, of the Lord Jesus. And great grace was upon them all. You see, mm. when anointing comes upon you, receive grace to do things others cannot do. It brings church growth. If you look at all the revivals that are happening in the Bible, it came by one thing, prayer. The lady is sleeping, help her. Wow. Eh? Look at me, I'm preaching. So you see, if we want a revival in the church, the force to get it, it's prayer. If you are prayerless, you are powerless. It is either you are praying or you are playing. One of this will be happening to you. The church has stepped into a prayer path. That is why I am confident revival is coming to the church and the anointing is coming upon your soul. Amen. Receive the anointing in the name of Jesus. Amen. Receive the power in the name of Jesus. Amen. Next. The anointing puts you in command. The anointing puts you in command. Look at somebody, tap them and say, the anointing will make you a commander. A lot of you are not in charge of your lives. Mm -hmm. There is, you remember the lady I called at the all night here? Mm. Eh? That lady I picked, I think she was in the third or fourth line there. Sir. And then the Lord uh, gave me the grandmother's name, some Tutuwa case. Yeah. How many of you were here at the all night? It was in the all night. Eh? You see, I, I almost wept. You see, I'm very emotional. I almost wept. When I look at the lady and I saw the way, you see, that thing is like the hand of a black monkey. I see. I the see. hand I was seeing. When the lady gathers, it scatters it. Eh? Do you remember the prophecy? Why are you looking at me? Do you remember the prophecy? Eh? The, I called the lady. I said, I'm seeing you at uh, uh, what, what the place? Mountain. mountain, and yeah. then the Lord gave me the grandmother's name. I spread the name. I said to Tua, yeah. and then he said, "That's my grandmother." Mm. You remember the case? Okay, now the person looks into the mirror, mm. and they are able to see into the life of all the people around in the family. And with that hand of the demon, they are able to scatter everything. Mm. Whatever you gather, whatever by your efforts and sweat, you gather that you must enjoy, they blow it apart. Mm. 
Are you getting what I'm saying? Yes. It means you are not in charge of your life. The, the demon determines how your life must become. There are some of you you are not in charge of your life. You don't even understand the experiences you are going through. Sometimes you are up. Sometimes you are down. You see an open door before you realize it has closed on you. Somebody promises you when you have all the indicators that the person is going to be my help. Mm. And before you know, the person tells you the thing way I say, mm. now it is mm. 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 and your face is all oh, instead of see, mm. today ah. I came to you, you are ah. about to be made a commander of your life. Amen. Become the captain of your own life. Amen. By the anointing, you will put the demons of your life where they belong. Amen. A thousand shall fall at your side. Ten thousands will fall all around you. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, it will never come near you. With your eyes alone, you will see the fall of the wicked. Amen. May you receive the power. Amen. May you control your destiny and your finances. Amen. May you control your marriage and your fortunes. Amen. Somebody shout yes. Yeah. You are a commander. Tell somebody I am in charge. We are a commander. You are in charge. First Samuel ten one. Samuel made the kind of do you move back home. Eh? So you are a captive to the enemy. Oh, yeah, a am I born for no? Look at this. Then someone took a vial of oil and poured it upon his hair, the head of Saul, and kissed him and said, Is it not because the Lord has anointed thee to be captain over his inheritance? Did you see that? Mm. When the anointing oil came upon him. And the Holy Ghost descended upon Saul's life. He now received the anointing upon himself. When an anointed man takes anointing oil and anointing, there is only one thing that happens to you. Mm. Anointing will come on you. So when I take the anointing oil and I am anointing you, I am not giving you fright or there be, papa. There be, and yet the eh? This one is not zomi. There be, and you zomi. This one, it is not a jingo balambo. There be, eh? This one is called liquid fire. Sir, eh? You oja, I am sincere. This one, it has the capacity. To empower you and to make you from the ordinary to the super ordinary. Ah. And from today, that is what is about to happen to you. Amen. May you become a super ordinary Christian. Amen. Oh, are you blessed in the church this morning? Yes. And this is Saul mm. who had become so frustrated, mm. destitute, mm. poor, disappointed. Life was not working for Saul. Mm. So no, I am Basa, and your man Koye, Bibia Dija, and your menina Akutiano. And he was looking for his father's lost axes. Now, already, Papa, in Frumo, Myra. If you talk about an ass and you talk about a Jew, you are talking about an unclean animal. Mm. So, what kind of Frumo, any Jew wants them, the United States, I'm one and one team wants them, the king. And so, for somebody mm. to walk. A day of seven days looking for an ass mm. tells you the poverty levels of the man was very high. So Obi Pa Ben Nante and Namako Bako and so now you have from the United States Ohiano a Jarano. It is like telling me that an SDA man is looking for a lost pig. Sir, so because it's Zini and answer Kremoni a repreco. Am I helping you? For seven days, and now so without food and water. Oh, need you know me? And then he came to Prophet Samuel. No, be true. Did for Samuel and saying, Prophet Samuel said, you know, your real problem is not the axe that is lost. Oh, see, oh, your how real problem is that you are a captive to life mm. because you lack the anointing. Mm. And he took the vial of oil mm. and poured it upon him and said. Is it not because the Lord has anointed thee to be captain? Mm. So the oil made change him from a captive to a captain. Ha. Today, I change you from being a captive to hey. poverty 
a captive to struggle, ah. you will no longer be insulted ah. by your colleagues and your family members. Amen. You are a captain in charge of your ah. life. May you receive the anointing to command your life, command your children, command your business, command your employees. Amen. May you become a captain of your life here. Amen. Somebody shout yes! Yes! Hey. And yet, and one out here, Nemo, oh, how no, we are qua, and my we are say, and in the name I was him, and then Yamia one day and Bowsono, who be free and quiemo, and Fedio Babay or Kunini, a bedi a domain. You see, the captive is the one who is being ruled over. The castle be a qua, and I say, yes, and so, eh? And the commander is the one in charge. Now be a commander there, or no, or your Kunini, or no, or TBS. In Matthew 8 9, we saw in the Bible mm. where the captain. Of a uh, hundred soldiers, the centurion mm. came to Jesus and said, You don't need to come under my roof, sir. For y I too, I am a captain mm. of hundreds. I say to this one, Go, and they go. Mm. I say to this one, Come, and they come. Mm. And I say to this one, Don't go, and they don't go. You don't need to come to my house. I know you too, you are a captain, a commander. Mm. And so you can command demons at pleasure, and they will listen to you. Just say a word, mm. and the demons will leave my mm. son. And Jesus said, I have never seen any ah. man with such great faith in ah. Israel. And he said that, I, I have heard you. I don't need to come. Your faith has worked. Go, and your son is whole. Any demon holding your life in check. Hey. Today, you are a commander and a captain in charge of your... You will speak to them, go, and go. they will leave you. Amen. Come, and they will come. Amen. You will command poverty, and it will leave you. Command your womb to be fruitful, and it shall be fruitful. Amen. You will command your business to grow, and your business to grow. Amen. A thousand shall fall at your side. Ten thousand shall fall around you. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, the power to command your life is here. No more poverty, no more stagnation. Amen. Oppression is living your life. Sickness Amen. is living your life. You are coming out of your trouble. You are coming out of captivity. Amen. Receive it on the right. Receive it on the left. Receive it on the back of the front. Come on, commander. Lift up your voice here. And give the Lord a song. Amen. It's your Bible, Mo. So I say, or slap for or house of penny, Asia, yes, you or an idea so called for you. I said, There be men, mammy himself, who were to me to say, Yes, you were to me, make us a win qua or call, make us a win ra or ba, and not to the other cabiano. I want a bet here and to yes, you can say. Are you ready to be a commander? Why a card is obey a penny? We did that to us next week. Amen. I didn't think today I could stand. My body. Mm. My body. My body. A lot of things have happened to me in the last two months. But I have told myself it is better for me to die anointed than to be ruled over by my enemies in my Amen. life. Huh? I am determined to pay every price I can mm. for God to anoint me and put me in charge mm. of my destiny. Amen. I will not stop at nothing mm. until I receive the anointing that will make impossible situations obey my voice. Amen. 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 Because a lot of people come to me every day in this ministry and when I see their condition, pain and sorrow comes into my heart. Mm. It insults my anointing. Mm. It insults my calling to see people come here with different, different sickness, conditions, demonic attacks. And the Lord has called me and anointed us, but the grace to function is not there. Mm. It saddens my heart. Mm. If power comes right now, Jesus, a lot of you, mm. certain devils will say bye-bye to you forever. Amen. Most of the things people are going through, God open my eyes, I see it's small. 
I, I watch sometimes certain things helplessly mm. because there is a certain realm God must launch me mm. to be able to command certain things at pleasure. And that is the price I'm paying the whole of this year. It doesn't matter how long it has been and how long it will take. Church, I promise you, Jesus. we are going to be there very soon. Amen. The anointing is all we need. I want you to stand to your feet and pray for anointing upon your life. Just pray for the anointing upon your life. Tell the Lord, God, put me in charge of my life. Let me be in charge of my life. Let me be in charge of my business. My marriage life, God, make me in charge. I will decide who I marry, when I marry, and at where I marry. Demons will not frustrate my marriage again. Open your mouth and pray. Lay hands on yourself. Whatever you want the Lord to do for you with the anointing, tell the Lord. Speak upon your life. Let your power flow. Let your spirit flow. Let it flow, let it flow. Let it flow, let it flow, let it flow, let it flow, let it flow. We need your anointing. We need your power. Let your spirit flow. Problems are receiving solutions. Problems are receiving solutions. God is wiping somebody's tears. The Lord is wiping your tears. Your fears are being removed. That which makes you afraid is no more there. Your fears are walls without foundations. Let it flow, let it flow, let it flow, let it flow. Let your spirit flow. Like waters, like waters, like a river. Let it flow, let it flow, let it flow, let it flow. 
Let it flow. Let it flow. Let it flow. The Spirit of the Lord is in the house. The Spirit of the Lord is in the house. Let it flow, let it flow, let it flow. Like rivers, like rivers, let it flow. Is taking place in somebody's belly. Your left side, your left side of your belly. You are receiving healing in your left side. Growth is leaving your body. Every cancer in your body is withering and dying away. Arthritis, arthritis. Hip joint, your hip joint is being healed. Your hip joint, your waist pain is leaving you right now. Right now. It is happening. It is happening. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Take it. It is happening. It is happening. You receive your healing right now. Fibro is leaving your tummy. Fibro. Fibro is leaving your tummy. Fibro is going right now. Impotency. Impotency is leaving you. Barrenness and sterility is leaving your body right now. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Larry flow, Larry flow, Larry flow, Larry flow, Larry flow. There is a man. There is a man with a pain in your testicle. Very sharp pain in your testicle. The spirit of the Lord is telling me that pain is leaving you right now, Jesus immediately. Man. A pain in your testicle. Amen. It is leaving you right now, here. Amen. People with bone conditions. Jesus' name. Bone. The anointing here this morning is. Restoring health, bone conditions, bone conditions, your waist and your left groin. We see, and it was the pain is disappearing right now. There is restoration, amen. Women with menstrual cycle problems, amen. Menstrual conditions. There are three ladies here. Three. Mm. Menstrual cycle. Mm. You, you, you get a lot of pain when mm. you see your menses. Pain. Jesus. It's a spirit of infirmity. The spirit of the Lord is taking it out of your body right now. It is leaving you. Amen. It is, it is leaving you. By the counting of seven, you are under the anointing. Amen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Out. Amen. Out. 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 Yes. Out. 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 
It is living your body right now. Amen. Be healed in your body. Amen. Let it live your body. Let it live you right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Every menstrual condition, live your body right now. Out. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Out. Out. Two men, two. With low sperm count. Low sperm count, two men. Jesus. Your low sperm count condition is being restored. Jesus' name. Two men with low sperm count. God is restoring you. God is restoring you. Amen. In the next 30 seconds, you will feel your balls have become very heavy. Very heavy. God is restoring your low sperm count condition. Amen. Take it now. Take it. Take it. Jesus. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, whatever you are, take it. Take it. Take it. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. You are the Lord. Let your name be glorified. You are the Lord. Let your name be glorified. We give you glory. And I. We give you glory. And I. You are the Lord. Oh, you know I say we give you glory. We give you glory. You are the Amen. I bless your people. Amen. And I bless your house. Amen. I am not the one who own these people. Jesus. These are your precious sons and daughters that you have brought them together for your own purpose. I have no power over them. I hand them over to you this morning that you bless them. Change their lives and change their stories. Those who are believing you for breakthroughs, Lord, give it to them today. Those who are believing you for the healing, Lord, let it manifest quickly in their body. Amen. Those who came here trusting you for their finances, Lord, turn their finances around. Amen. There are those trusting you for the fruits of the womb. Amen. Let it never be denied them. Amen. It may have delayed, but you will never deny them what their deal is. Amen. For it is written, you will serve the Lord your God and you will bless your water and your bread. And I will take sicknesses away from the midst of thee that there shall nothing cast their young nor be barren in your land. Amen. And the number of your days I will fulfill. Lord, fulfill our days. Amen. Lord, fulfill our days. Amen. Let your promises on us, Lord, be fulfilled. Amen. 
Let all our mockers and our detractors know that you are in our midst. Let your name be acknowledged in this house. Amen. And let your name be praised forever in this ministry. Take the glory and take the honor for all you have done and for all you are about to do. We praise you, Lord, and we give you praise this morning for answering our prayer. In the name of your son, Jesus, we have prayed with thanksgiving. And let a believer say a very big amen. Amen. Lift your seed offering up. And if you haven't taken or you couldn't bring your first offering like myself, just put it together and bring the Lord a good offering. We have the communion to take and then I sit down. But you seed offering, say one band term, so one, two, the kind of wait to me account. Miracle worker, miracle worker, come and work a miracle, a miracle today. Come and do a miracle, a miracle today. From the back. Destiny you are the destiny changer. Oh yeah. Come and take a destiny, a destiny today. Oh, come and take a destiny, a destiny today. Oh, oh, oh. miracle worker, you are the miracle worker. Oh, come and do a miracle, a miracle. Oh, 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 oh,
you to bow your head in prayer and ask the Lord that as you eat with him, the Lord should prosper your ways, strengthen your body, energize you to finish the race and the journey of life. Just pray for yourself. This is a spiritual meal. You need grace to finish the race of life. There are many battles in your way you have to, to fight. For I receive of the Lord that which also I deliver unto you, that the Lord Jesus said the night before which he was crucified, took bread and after giving thanks, he break, saying, take it. For this is my flesh, which is broken for you in the new covenant. Do this in remembrance of me. And after supper, he took the cup. And after sobbing, he gave thanks and said, Take, drink, for this is my blood, which is shed for you in the new covenant. And as often as you do eat of this flesh and drink of this blood, you show the Lord's death. Our Heavenly Father, we commit the meal into your hand. We are not eating it because we are hungry for physical food. Jesus. For Apostle Paul said the other day, the cup we drink, is it not the true blood of Christ? Cup. And the flesh we eat, is it not the true flesh of Christ? We need energy. We need power. We need grace to finish the journey of life. And so we pray that, Lord, as your people come to the table to take off your flesh and to drink of your blood, a blood covenant to empower us above all the forces of darkness and the demonic competitors that rested with us along the way to destiny and to our promised land. We will have the power to overcome them. I pray that, Lord, every one of us here will never leave this table without receiving empowerment. Amen. Our bodies are energized to resist diseases and sicknesses and infirmity. Mm -hmm. Healing will happen in our body this morning. And every miracle you are giving us will be confirmed through the communion. I know you are a prayer answering God. Thank you for answering us. In the name of your son, Jesus Christ, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. Pastors and pastor's wife, whilst the choir continue to minister, also so direct the rest of the people to come Hallelujah. to the table. Hallelujah.
There is hope for a tree that even if it is hewn down, it will spring again. 
lions. A living dog is better than a dead lion. For the fact that you are still alive, there is hope for the future. Be thankful to God. Be thankful to God. Be thankful to the Lord for all the Lord has done for you. Be thankful to the Lord. Lord, I stretch my hands towards the heaven and I ask you for open heavens upon your church. Open our heavens. Cause the floodgate of your blessing to flow. Heal your church. Heal us of any spiritual diseases and infirmity. Heal us from all kinds of poverty conditions. Heal us and expand our business and our coast. Cause and stir a revival in the gathering and cause every promises and prophecies given us to be fulfilled and to manifest. I know that the communion we have taken today has come to solve many problems and to open us up for the things wherein also you have called us for. After this communion service, let miracles be abundant in our midst. Let the church enter into a new phase. A phase of prosperity, a phase of spirituality, a phase of devotion, love, and loyalty, a phase of church growth, increase, a phase where even the common men will become uncommon. Together we will prosper your church. Together we will make a name for the kingdom. And together we will praise you and say, Jehovah El Shaddai, the God, the provider of our needs. Thank you, my heavenly father. I thank you for answering me. In the name of your son, Jesus Christ, that we have prayed with thanksgiving. Amen. Let's receive Pastor Ohene on the altar. What shall we say to our daddy? God bless you. God bless you, sir. All right. So we would welcome the media unit to bring us the um, announcements. This one comes from the pastoral board.